James, thanks for joining us in Kelly TV on the day that Paul De Giacomo has been announced as interim head of academy. Can you just tell us a little bit about that appointment? Yeah, well, obviously, Jacko's someone that we, we know very well. He's previously coached within the academy. He's currently working or heading up our community department as well. Uh, he's been a player. He's got kind of great enthusiasm and knowledge for, for player development. So I think with the, the staff that have left, we were, we were quite short in that department. So thankfully, uh, Paul's going to step up and, and help us in the interim period. And I suppose with Paul having gone on that journey himself as a player, now coming full circle and that will hopefully be a help, won't it, for those players? Yeah, it should be. As he Paul came through the system, uh, like myself, we've got other coaches within the academy that have experienced that as well, and they're always passing on knowledge. Uh, they're obviously enthusiastic characters as well, and, and they've always got the club at heart. So, as I say, that should hopefully stand us in, in good stead moving forward, and, and how that will that will kind of take place or take shape. Sorry, moving forward. And supporters, they love seeing those people that they they can identify with coming through the system don't they yeah and I think it's so important as I say that is part of the structure of the club that it needs to be financially it makes sense for us as well but I think there's it sometimes can mean a little bit more if you've came through the system and you're you're desperate for all the training sessions and games that they might have here as an academy player they're desperate to kind of make that appearance for a first team uh, and they say it will be parking and hopefully they can show the fans what they're all about and, and they get the backing as well for for being uh, one of their own. Because the academy calendar runs January to December rather than the first team schedule, does this interim appointment allow us to can maybe reflect amid kind of widespread conversations about how academy football in Scotland will look? Yeah, I think it does. I think obviously the SFA are having a review just at the minute and they're going to run with a one-year cycle in 2022. So I think internally for us, it allows us, obviously Paul McDonald's been here and and done a lot of good things in the academy uh, over a, a, a number of years. So I think now that he's now decided to move on, it gives us a chance to kind of reflect the good things that have happened and, and obviously looking to try and make some changes and improvements if we can as well uh, in the next kind of few months ahead of that new cycle kicking in. I suppose for fans, the main takeaway they want to know is, is this club still committed to the academy structure? And, and the answer to that is, is categorically still yes, isn't it? Yeah, I think obviously there's been a, a lot of kind of comings and goings over the, the kind of last 18 months within the club in terms of the pandemic having a massive kind of impact on the, the financial strength of the club. But I think from day one, the academy and, and the board certainly have, have, have backed the academy and, and said they're going to have one. So I think it's important for us to, to kind of reassure people that that's always going to be the case. I think it's fundamental for, for the club, the size of Kamalak, to have a successful academy. And we've, we've seen that recently with... Uh, some of the players that have been involved with the first team on match days, but certainly I think from the beginning of pre-season there's been a lot of boys training with the first team on a daily basis and, and that's great to see because the staff are, are really keen to have these boys uh, progressing within the club. And with that then, the support from the fan base, they buy into that, don't they? And, and that's so important, not just for the academy, but everything that's going on around the club just now. Yeah, it's so important. I say, I think as fans, they love to see they're kind of their own coming through the the academy uh, and into the first team as well. And I think it, it's obviously it's a it's a lot of money that it takes to run the academy. And I say we appreciate the the trust uh, the backers as well. And they're always looking for more uh, businesses or, or opportunities to to increase the funding that, that they receive because say we'll, we'll lose between two and three hundred thousand uh, pounds through relegation and the UA for solidarity payment that we usually would receive so I think there's a big gap to fill but the board have, have committed to, to filling that as best they can and having a successful academy. And as well as that and you touched on the Kelly Trust support there, the fans have also shown incredible support for the under 18s when they were doing their run the tune fundraising challenge as well and that will benefit the boys no end. Yeah, and I think it's just a reminder for some of the boys the size of the club and, and the support that, that is in the, in the town for, for the club. Uh, and I think that can only be a good thing. And we want to kind of increase the players' involvements uh, within the community as well. And I think that will hopefully go both ways. You talked about the, the impact of, of relegation. There's also been the impact of the pandemic um, on the boys with a lack of games last season due to the restrictions. But they seem to be coming out of that now. They're back playing and it really does feel like a fresh start. Yeah, it's been really tough for, for across all society, but certainly for the, the boys that are looking to try and make a career in the game, they've, they have missed a lot of kind of training and a lot of games, uh, but I think they've came back with a, a hunger and desire as well to kind of make up for lost time, and I think we're seeing that now in certainly under-18s and the boys that are kind of pushing in, in the first team.